How can your cover letter quickly, clearly, and persuasively grab the attention of hiring decision makers and make you irresistible, leading to more interviews, job offers, and ultimately a better, more fulfilling job? Today, I'll teach you five magic keys to the magic cover letter and tell you how to get a proven template so that you can hook your reader and dramatically increase your better job found success. Welcome, Happily Employed Rockstar. I'm Robert with the Magic Cover Letter, and you are in the right place to learn the secrets to finding a better job. Click the red subscribe button and the bell so that you will be the first to know when I post another video. Magic key number one, make it easy. You must present the evidence of your qualifications in such a way that it is easy for the reader to see that you meet or exceed the requirements for the job. When you do this quickly and persuasively, your cover letter instantly becomes attention grabbing and you become irresistible. This is really the magic in the magic cover letter and a formal standard cover letter is never going to create this kind of magic for you. Here's how to do it. Take the job description of the position you want and list each individual requirement on the left. On top of this list, write required qualifications. Then on the right, at the top, write my experience. Next to each requirement on the left, quickly write all the compelling evidence you meet or exceed each requirement. It's okay to list everything you can think of at this stage, such as specific work experiences or accomplishments accomplishments, specialized training, education, certifications, unique gifts, special talents or experiences, anything that demonstrates evidence you meet or exceed the requirements. Don't worry about listing the same evidence in more than one place. Just get it out and you can come back later and modify, polish, and shorten. In a minute, I'll tell you how to get my word template that you can freely use. Magic key number two. Specify, prioritize, and chop. Go back through your evidence and make each item as specific and quantifiable as possible. For example, one job required excellent interpersonal skills in dealing with all levels of staff. The specific evidence shown was scored a high favorability rating, average 4.54 out of 5 by all observers, boss, direct reports, peers, in most recent Checkpoint 360. In another case, the requirement was willingness to learn, grow professionally, and contribute to the team's success. And the supporting evidence was, listen to 10 business books so far this year, 30 plus last year, continually seeking learning and growth opportunities and sharing with my team. If you have multiple items listed for one requirement, focus on the top two or three. Cut out unnecessary words and combine items if possible. Magic key number three, resist. The big temptation for clients, which you must say no to, is to try to tell the hiring decision maker everything, all the reasons. Don't do it. Your goal is to offer enough impactful evidence, yet still keep your letter short, concise, inviting, and readable, preferably a single page. Here's an insider tip. Share your evidence using the same language in the job description. This instantly creates subconscious rapport with the reader and can give you an advantage over another applicant with the same qualifications that does not match the language of the job description. For one client, this meant maintaining the English spelling of utilization with an S instead of a Z. Now you're going to take this table of requirements matched with evidence and drop it right in the middle of your cover letter. This process has three big and surprising benefits. Benefit number one, it helps you become absolutely clear how qualified you are for the job, what your relative strengths are, and any gaps. I'll share a couple of examples shortly how to handle gaps. Benefit number two, this process not only provides excellent content for your attention-grabbing cover letter, but also for your attention-grabbing cover email, which I'll be talking about in my next video. Benefit number three, this process builds the basic talking points for your interview. When you get that interview invitation, you will automatically feel more confident because you have laid the basic foundation for a successful interview, especially when you combine it with the magic cover letter interview strategy, which I'll teach in an upcoming video. Do you struggle with writing cover letters? Tell me in the comments what your biggest challenge is when writing a cover letter. Magic key number four, the hook. Now that you have a clear picture of the requirements and your evidence, it's time to create your attention-grabbing introductory hook. 
which typically follows the greeting. For tips on which greetings you should never ever use and what to do instead, watch my Dear Hiring Manager video. For a more conservative organization, your opening hook may be something as straightforward as, take a look below and see for yourself that I meet the requirements for the job of, and insert the job title. Or you can tap your creativity and gain an even bigger advantage by starting your cover letter boldly with a headline. One simple way to do this is to headline a passion that you share with the company. For example, serving the young is Big Thought's passion. It's mine too. Or you can headline a skill important to the organization such as how my writing skills can help Right Now Ministries create effective ministry materials. Or you can be even bolder. I once started a cover letter to a college president with the headline, Does 14 minus 2 equal 0? It's a safe assumption he had never received a cover letter like that. Here's why it worked like magic. The job description listed 14 criteria, but I only met 12 of them, so my headline reframed my shortfall to something more positive. Plus, in the short paragraph right under the headline, I connected my shortfall to a biblical reference which I knew would resonate with this president of a small Christian college. Of course not. It equals 12, a biblical number for completeness, and the number of qualifications for vice president for the position I presently meet, and the number of good reasons you now have to interview me for this position. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Right below this, I inserted the list of required qualifications for the job on the left and my experience on the right in a well-laid-out table. His office called the day they received my letter and resume and invited me to an interview. Here is another insider tip. Your attention-getting headline will be most effective if it not only captures the attention of the reader, but does so in a way that is totally congruent with the company, the job you're applying to, and, most importantly, your personality. And finally, magic key number five, invitation to action. Create your compelling and persuasive call to action by inviting the reader to schedule an interview. Give the reader a reason to call you that connects a benefit you offer to an important goal of the company, such as getting more clients or increasing profitability. Your invitation to take action will be two to three sentences right after your table of evidence. Here's one example. Interestingly, after reading about strategic parameters, I have some ideas based on my experience you may find useful for expanding your client base into new markets. You can reach me at, and then the phone number. Here's another example. Candidly, my established relationships with buyers, hospitals, and hospital systems in the South can provide highly profitable business development opportunities for name of company. I'd love the opportunity to meet in person to discuss how this ability can help name of company gain more profitable customers. Here is another insider tip that dials up the impact of your cover letter. Use a PS to either reinforce your invitation to take action or emphasize another of your top skills by connecting it directly to an outcome that's important to the company. The PS is often one of the first things people read when looking at a letter. If you send it as an email attachment, people are likely to print it and share it around with other colleagues that may be involved in the hiring process. Here is an example of a PS for a professional writer. P.S. You can read samples of my writing here, followed by a link. In another example where getting new customers was important to the company, I also have the ability to build great relationships of trust and respect with new customers, many of whom become personal friends and look forward to sharing my ideas for growing your business. And this letter also scored an interview. If you follow these five magic keys, you will have an attention-grabbing cover letter. Congratulations! If you're going to send your magic cover letter as an attachment to an introductory email, which I'll be talking about introductory emails next video, be sure to PDF it so the formatting stays exactly as you intend it to. One more thing, how magical would it be if you could grab a template that would make it even easier for you to write your very own compelling and persuasive magic cover letter? Well, you can, and it's free. Simply go to themagiccoverletter.com forward slash quick start and download your copy right now. The link is also in the description. And when you do that, I'll also email you the link to the Word version of the Magic Cover Letter template. And until next time, unleash your big dreams by asking yourself this powerful question. What if it's possible now? <laughs>